Hey guys, it's Woody, and this is Tech Tuesday. Normally in Tech Tuesday, I get down and dirty, almost engineering level stuff, and then I take that and try and present it in a way that everybody can understand. This time, something a little bit different. I'm gonna look at cell phones. I have the new Samsung S4, I've had the S3, I've had iPhones, and I played around with the HTC One in the store, so I thought I'd talk about what I found, and I thought you guys might be interested. Probably next week I'll go deep into the tech again, but for now, I hope you like this. First, let's talk form factor. The new one is white, and it's an S4. The older one is navy blue, and that's the S3. Next to it is the iPhone 4S, which is the smaller, I'll call it standard size iPhone. I don't know if 5 is a new standard. Anyway, if you look carefully, the case on the outside is almost exactly the same. I couldn't tell you which one is bigger. The S4 might be a tiny little bit bigger, but I can't really see. Uh, on the outside, they're about the same, but the screens are different. And here I'm going to line up the bottom of the screens in a second, and you'll see that on the S4, the top extends beyond uh, where the uh, top extends on the S3. So there it is. The white one is bigger than the dark one. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. But, um, oh no, my pop music. Anyway, here it is. The screen is bigger, but they managed to fit in that screen in the same size phone by making the bezel around it smaller. In practice, it feels a little better, but it's not a night and day difference. It's just a slight improvement. The iPhone 4, on the other hand, it is a night and day difference. And I felt like when these Samsungs first came out, that they were like, gigantic. They were almost iPad-like. Whereas on the uh, iPhone, it seemed like it was normal. Now I've changed my mind. Now I feel like using an iPhone is like viewing the world through a paper towel roll. You know, just a tiny little telescope of, of vision. Whereas what should be is the two Samsungs. Like that's, that's how my perception is. I felt like Apple took too long to make their screens bigger. But, uh, but that's just me. Your mileage may vary. Next comes a bit of a speed test. If you open the browser, they open at about the same speed. I know it was preloaded in the S4, but that's not the big thing. Now I'm going to reload the page at the same time. Look at the progress bar under the URL, above where it says Yahoo, and you'll see it zipped across much faster on the white phone than it did on the black phone. And then the page loaded a little bit quicker too. It's funny, before I got the S4, I didn't think I needed more performance. I thought everything was fine. I, I just sort of had this notion that... Um, you know, my phone was my phone and it loaded fast enough and I didn't really care. But uh, now that I have a faster phone, suddenly I've started to recognize speed as a more important thing than I used to. And everything about the phone is just a little snappier. The way it opens messages, the way that it, um, you know, opens the browser, the way that it does all its stuff. I appreciate the extra speed. So the S4 has a couple of new features, and I'll talk about this more later, but Samsung has a way of making ordinary features seem like killer ones. One of the things it has is this hover over the screen sensitivity. See, I'm not touching it here, and if you don't touch it in Flipboard or Flipbook, what is this called? It shows you the stories that are under it, and then you can pick out the story while you're on it, like I just did there. Another option, of course, is to go all the way into it, and uh, you know, then you get to choose from a, a sub list. So... That's how the hover over thing works. The same technology can make it work by putting gloves on. Then you can reset it so that, hey, if you just hover over it, instead of needing to take your glove off to operate a smartphone, then you can operate it with the gloves on, which is kind of a neat deal. One thing the S4 can do that phones with, quite frankly, nicer build quality can't do is you can replace the battery in the back. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. Also, you'll be able to compare the battery of the S4 to the S3 because it's a little bit bigger. So here you can see the two batteries. The capacity and the size of the S4 battery is a little bit bigger, but the battery life is about the same because it draws more power. You can also see where the SIM card goes. It's that orange one. And that little red and gray guy is a 64 gigabit storage card. So I can keep all my movies and music and stuff like that on there. I briefly mentioned build quality. You can see my camera there. <laughs> And I wish I could display it better, but something about the S3 and S4 just isn't delightful to hold in your hand. Um, the iPhone 4 is. The HTC One, which I saw at the store, is meant to be the Android answer to the iPhone, whether it be 4 or 5, but it wasn't quite that. You know, the edges on here feel cheap compared to the edges of the iPhone. The back plastic thing, I think to call it slimy would be an exaggeration. It's not actually slimy. But it's slick, and it doesn't reek of quality in the same way that the iPhones do. 
It's nice. It's not bad. It's just not an iPhone in terms of build quality. It's at least an iPhone in terms of performance. I think Android is better than iOS. And that's one of the reasons I switched over to it. It's at least as good as the iPhone in terms of the camera and the speed. It's as good a phone, but if you want something that is awesome just to hold in your hand, if you want something that's a piece of manufacturing magnificence, then it's not these. These are good functional tools and they're not uh, flashy, awesome, oh my God, look what they did, uh, phones, like the iPhones have always been. If you guys are new to Android and haven't played with it, what I like about it is the widgets. They both have the concept of folders, which I just showed off on iOS. But on the Android, you can have things that sort of work right on your screen. If you look at my, this thing, it's showing me the weather, it's showing me uh, the time, it can show me my calendar, it can show there's all sorts of widgets. I can get surf reports without pressing a button. Whereas everything on Apple is sort of go into a folder and locate it. It's always a couple of steps away. It's never right there in front of your eyes. And that's just been their entire design paradigm. Now they do a nice job of making the icons match and it's lovely that way. But everything is a couple of clicks away. Whereas on the Android, everything is right the way that you want it. So I'm walking from a lit hallway to an unlit hallway to outside because that's pretty much a torture test for a camera. And I thought you might be interested in seeing how it dealt with the difference. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm gonna walk. Um, this picture in picture thing was the, I guess, killer feature that made me wanna get the S4. I was kind of fine with my S3, it was doing its job, and uh, the HTC One looked really attractive to me, but, uh, this door's locked. <laughs> the HTC One looked really interesting to me, but uh, this picture-in-picture -picture thing, because I vlog like this, because I travel and go places and, and want to share it with you guys, I thought it would be cool. But to show you how it works, you can put your finger on it and kind of drag it around and do your thing. Um, I can make it bigger. Hopefully I do this right. There we are. That's as big as it gets, and then I can make it smaller. I am not at all in love with this postage stamp thing. Uh, for one, it's the wrong aspect ratio. It should be 16 by 9, and it's almost 9 by 16. And two, it's the postage stamp thing. Here, I can swap these. Right while I'm filming, I can switch it and make you know, the little one big and the big one small. I don't know. I just wish that... Uh, that it was turned sideways and I think I'd rather have a, a whole bunch of borders I could choose from and I would almost never pick the postage stamp that's my truck <laughs> for my option but uh, 